Researcher Dr. Anna Bridges explained that when one partner uses porn at a high frequency, there can be a tendency to withdraw emotionally from the relationship. So that really speaks to um, a lot of the, not only is porn changing the way people are thinking about it, but the using of porn itself and kind of she talks about um, the isolated behavior and kind of the secrecy behind using that is often what leads people to kind of isolate themselves from the people around them who would generally be their support system. So, you know, even if you start to struggle with something and you're recognizing, you know, every time you use it, it's, you don't really feel good after and it's not really helping you in any way. It's often what you continue to go back to because it's the only thing that, you know, you feel comfortable um, connecting with really, which instead of real people, you know, even your friends, your family members, people you would typically talk to about, you know, the stresses you have or what you're going through. It's kind of just becomes a cycle and you kind of go back to that. My fear was if I didn't say anything, then a lot of people that could have felt catharsis wouldn't have. And they, my fear was that, I mean, I have a, two kids and one on the way and I want my girl to be able to have a guy who loves her and who doesn't love pornography and treats her right. And so that was probably my biggest fear was just, if we don't talk about it as a society, it's just gonna get worse and worse because it becomes more normalized and people start to think that it's cool. And the more that it's normalized and the more that people think it's cool, is worse and worse and worse. And we are a nonprofit organization that educates on the harmful effects of pornography using science, facts, and personal counts. So we're not um, a religious organization or a legislative organization. We're just focusing on this issue as um, the research um, and people's personal stories have kind of presented the harmful effects.